today we are embarking on an exciting journey into the world of genetics, specifically exploring the hybrid inheritance. But hold on tight because this is not just any ordinary genetic lessons. We are about to dwell into a fascinating realm where the principle of inheritance undergo a captivating evolution. So, buckle up as we unravel the mysteries of the hybrid inheritance and witness firsthand how it builds upon the foundation of genetic change. Sex linkage. Sex linkage is a genetic, in genetic, is a reference to inheritance pattern where a gene is located on a sex chromosome, typically the X or Y chromosome in mammals. This result in the expression of certain traits being dependent on the individual sex. In humans, for example, traits like color blindness and hemophilias are often sexy, with the gene responsible located on the X chromosome. And this means these traits are more commonly expressed in males as they have only one X chromosome. One female has two, providing a potential backup copy of the gene. Based on the explanation just now, to simplify that, there are two sex chromosomes in human cells. A woman has two X chromosomes, a man has X chromosome and Y chromosome. The X chromosome is longer than Y chromosome. Most of gene on X chromosome are not present on Y chromosome, and this is called sex link gene. The example given here is a gene that determines the production of red receptive and green receptive pigments in the retina of eyes is found in X chromosome. There is a recessive allele of this gene that results in red green color blindness. A woman that has two X chromosomes and two copies of this gene, meanwhile, a man has only one X chromosome and thus he has only one copy of this gene. If normal allele is capital A, the recessive abnormal alleles is small a, these are the possible genotype and phenotype. Genotype we have X capital A, X capital A, which represent phenotype for baby girl with normal vision. For X capital A and X small a is also represent phenotype for a baby girl with normal vision. X small a and X small a is referring to phenotype with a baby girl with color blindness. And for the X capital A and Y is phenotype baby, baby boy with normal vision. And X capital A and Y is actually baby boy with color blindness. So in the exam questions, for example, they may test you to predict the chances of women who is a carrier for color blindness, men with normal vision having a color blind child. What you need to do is you have to plot a genetic diagram. So you might have a parent's phenotype which is normal for a woman with a normal vision versus men with a normal vision. And then you need to have a parent's genotype. For the parent's genotype, for those women with a normal vision, is you have X capital A and X small a. And for the men with a normal vision, the parent's genotype will be X capital A and Y. And then after that, you need to plot gametes genotype. Gametes genotype is a circle and inside here is a, 
is actually the value that carries from the parent's genotype. For example, for the woman normal vision, you may have X capital A and X small a, and in the Gannett's genotype, you have to draw X capital A and X small a. And for the normal with a normal vision, where for the parent's genotype, you have X capital A and Y, so for the Gannett's genotype, you have to draw X capital A and also Y. And on the section of offspring genotype and phenotype, you may have columns, you may have rows and columns. This row is actually represent woman normal vision. So you have X capital A and X small a. And on the column side, is actually is always represent on the right hand side, which is in this case, is a man normal with a normal vision where you have X capital A and also Y. When there is a combination between X capital A and X capital A, so baby, what type of the baby during the offspring, they might have a baby girl with a normal vision. And when there is a combination with, with X small A and X capital A, you may see there is a baby girl with a normal vision. And same thing goes to X, capital A, and Y. The combination will produce baby boy with a normal vision and X, small A, and Y. And you can see there is a baby boy with a color line. As a conclusion from this genetic diagram, you can see that one in four chance a child's born with this couple will be color blind boy. And one in two chance of any boy born with color blind. Let's move on to the hybrid inheritance. The hybrid inheritance is the inheritance pattern of two different traits that are controlled by different genes loci. In other words, it involves the simultaneous inheritance of two pairs of allele for two different characteristics. For example, in this case, a breed of dog may have gene for hair color and leg length. And you have a list of allele capital A, dominant and give brown hair, and allele small a is a recessive and it gave black hair. And you may have allele capital L is also dominant and give long legs. And you may have allele small l is a recessive and give short leg. So these are the tables for possible genotype and phenotype as I described here. And a genetic diagram shows the hybrid cross as for monohybrid cross. The only difference is that there is no different types of gametes. And each gametes contain one allele of each gene. And for the offspring, we would expect from a cross between two dogs that both heterozygous for both genes. And then, as usual, you have to plot a genetic diagram. So, when you have a parent's genotype for the breed of dog, so you might have brown hair, brown hair with a long leg, and versus brown hair also with the long legs. And then, you have to plot the parent's genotype where for the brown hair, long legs, you may have a parent's genotype capital A, small a, big L, and small n versus capital A, small a, capital L, and small L. And after that, you to proceed with the gametes genotype where you have to draw a diagram, a circle that represent gametes genotype, but the content is same as the parents genotype. From the A, capital A, small a, big L, and small l, these are the combination of gametes genotype. And from this step, 
we need to produce the geometric diagram. So on the row column, you may have capital A, capital L, capital A, small L, small A, capital L, small A, and capital L. And on the column side also, you may have capital A and L, capital L, capital A, and small L, small A, and capital L, and small A, and small L. So these are the combination when capital A, capital L, combined with, not combined, versus with capital A and L, you may have a brown and long mix. So as a result from this genetic diagram, we, we may have a different uh, offspring in the form of ratio, where nine brown hair, long legs, a ratio of three brown hair, short legs, and a ratio of three black hair, long legs, and a ratio of one black hair, short legs. In conclusion, hope that you stay connected and informed by subscribing to our Job Study Live YouTube channel. And thank you for your attention and support.